and we're back yay oh my god so today what I have here is this little doodity right here uh, it's the uh, case logic photography kit so I um, I bought this uh, just for this main reason right here and really um, I'm not happy with it I'm not happy with it because the uh, holder here that holds the device that I'm using is spring loaded. Um, and so anyway, I just wanted to uh, go over all this stuff and show this to you. So uh, I bought this at Walmart uh, for $19.94. Uh, that's <clears throat> US dollars and that's without tax. I can't tell you exactly how much it costs because we bought fish food too so so uh, I don't know but yeah I'm not happy with it because the holder is spring-loaded and also it doesn't fit my phone very well unless I take the phone case off and this is kind of crap because his phone case that I have for my phone actually fits very very snugly and I had to get uh, something to pry this off with and then you know and then I tried to use just this and it still won't fit with the silicone uh, holder caca <laughs> I'm just like oh that sucks but you know I think there are some good things in here so yeah here is everything um, so this is a remote, this is a light, this is a uh, macro and a wide angle lens, this is a fish eye lens with a clip, um, here's a case and here is a USB uh, plug which I'll get into why that's even there. So anyway, um, but yeah, I... I, I question this, you know, uh, it is a nice little velvet pouch and it's soft on the outside, nice elastic drawstrings so you can pull it quite tight and, and it's not that easy to undo. So, um, and like I said, it's nice and velvet on both sides, nice and soft. So. And I only question it because these things, I mean, they come a dime a dozen. Let me tell you what. And if I were very happy with this, I would be keeping this whole kit. And this part of the kit, which is sit in the back of my closet and age before I had to throw it away. You know, things age and then you have to throw them away. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't get much use. Well, probably wouldn't get any use, but whatever. Anyway, um, no, uh, anyway, um, so this is the remote and, uh, it works on Bluetooth. So, um, it worked fine for my phone. I, I got it to work. I got it to pair up. And my phone is a Blade ZTE from Metro PCS. So, um, it does have a little on-off button right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, no, you can. Um, and it has its, it has a battery that you can replace. Not an internal one. So, that's not why the USB port cord is there. Anyway, uh, the next thing we have here is a little light. Now this light, I don't know why it has the headphone jack right here. I haven't a clue because this thing can work without the headphone jack um, as it is right now. And so you just, it's got a little switch on the side and voila, it's on. It does have a low, medium, and high setting. So this is low, there's medium, and there's high. So, um, I'm going to turn that off now because that is awfully bright and these are LED lights. So, 
Um, it, um, it looks like this thing has an internal battery. So, um, as you can see there, there's the port for charging and that's why this thing came with it. This didn't actually come with the adapter that you plug into the wall. I'm supposing you could just use this with any adapter, any phone adapter or whatever. So there you have that. Um, and like I said, I don't know why it comes with the headphone jack. I haven't a clue. I don't know. Maybe that's just the place that you stick it and it holds it there. Mm -hmm. But whatever. And this also came with no instructions whatsoever. No little leaflet. No, nothing. It's just whatever information is on the back here. So, um, or on the sides. And it's minimal information. So, um, the next thing we have here is these two lenses. And I'm going to remove this lens from this clip. So here we have a fisheye lens. Now these lenses are actually pretty cool and they work very well. Um, let me see if I can, yeah, there's the fisheye lens and it looks like so. Um, they have their own caps. Cool. Um, this one is supposed to be a macro lens and a wide angle lens. Oh, if, if this thing will focus. Okay, it's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Um, shoot. Why are you not focusing? There we go. So it says macro and wide. Um, they are supposed to come apart. They came put together like this, as you saw in the packaging. I don't know why I had to say that. But anyway, yeah, they're supposed to come apart. And I've had this for about a day. And I haven't been able to get them apart and use them individually. So mm, there's another downfall of that thing. But yeah, there it is. And this clip... I mean, it is a really good, strong clip, but it's not so strong that it's going to, you know, squeeze the crap out of your phone and cause, like, any cracking or any breaking or anything. I mean, it's holding on pretty good um, to my thumb or my finger here, and, uh, yeah, pretty good. It does, and it does have a little comfort grip right here for your phone. So, um, I can show you these lenses. Now, these are really user-friendly. Um, they do just attach like so. And let me see here. I'm going to attach this to the camera that I'm currently using. So, hold on a second. Bloop. Oh. Bloop. And did I just swivel that around? What the heck happened here? I mean, hold on. Okay, now I got it. Oh, now you can see, like, <laughs> a lot of everything, like this whole wall nearly all the way to my bedroom door over there and all this mess I have going on. Yes, that's my laundry. And this mess I have going on over here. And I mean like, woo! And this is the fish eye lens. So, um, really it's pretty, I mean, pretty simple to attach, but I mean, let me direct your attention to right over here, and as you can see, there is just this black ring. Now, if you take pictures with this, that's what you're going to get, this black ring right around here. And I can't really point to it, but you know what I'm saying. That black ring right around there. I don't know, man. But, I mean, pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool picture, so let me, let me, um, why is my 
thing swiveling around. I don't know, but let me take this off. Okay. So, um, there's one. And like I said, the macro lens and the wide angle lens, I can't get them apart. Otherwise, I would be able to show you the kind of picture each one of them gets. But I can show you what they look like together. Some people are assholes. So, they are just pretty simple to attach, reattach, detach, and things like that. Whoa, my chair. All right, so let me uh, attach this here. So, as you can see, I mean, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, but, yeah, it does... You know, and I don't, uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me pause this for a sec here. Hold on. Okay, so that is, is as good as it's going to get for me. Uh, because as you have it, the, um, the camera on my phone is a dual camera. So there's a 16 megapixel camera accompanied with a, I think a 5 megapixel something like that but yes there's dual cameras on the back so you know um I still even tried this thing on my front facing camera and it still got that ring around it I, do, I don't know why you know it's just it might be the clip that's in the way or you know it might be just the way the lens is designed but I mean it gets pretty good um pictures and whatnot so um yeah, it does pretty good. And um, now you can't go waving this around with this on your phone. It won't stay put. It can be knocked off, but it's uh, sturdy enough that it's going to, you know, just clip right on. And like I said, nice, strong. I mean, I'm using all of my effort here. And I don't have a very good grip in my hand. I mean, I'm like, that's nice and strong. So, um, pretty cool. Pretty kind of cool. So, um, yeah. I mean, really, what I, what I believe about this thing is, is that, you know, if you had a, uh, maybe a, a preteen or an adolescent who, um, who just kind of thinks that maybe they want to do photography or maybe it's a hobby of theirs for right now. Um, this would be a good item to get, you know? Um, I mean, being since it is only $19 and 94 cents, um, you know, it can work with a lot of different devices. The lenses are pretty cool. It, it's a good starter kit, you know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, if maybe you're the type of person who's just, you know, kind of dabbling into <laughs> digital photography from your phone um, type of a deal, you know, um, yeah, this might be good for you as a hobby, but I, as as far as... as professionally I mean I think that if you wanted to do photography and video and stuff like that professionally I don't think that this is really a solution um, I just I just don't think so you know um, I don't know about the quality of this stuff or how long it might even last you know because the the only way to test quality of something is test of time and and how you know how you're uh, wearing and tearing things down so um, I, I have no idea I can uh, I think I can show you the um, tripod part and tell you about the stuff that I'm not happy with but yeah I mean like I said I think that you know if you had a, a preteen or an adolescent who is into taking care of their stuff and maybe they want to dabble in photography you know just get you a cheap phone from like Metro PCS or something that's got a good camera on it and then get you get one of these I mean 
cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah. Um, so anyway, hold on a minute and I'll show you the actual tripod and the holder. So hold on. Okay, so here we are. This is the actual tripod. Um, this part I do like. It's nice and sturdy. Now the legs aren't adjustable or anything like that. I will have to tell you that this is all one piece. So, yeah. Um, if it were to break somehow, there's no, <laughs> there's no fix for that. But, yes, it is nice and sturdy. Um, you can put a little bit of pressure on it. And like I said, these aren't adjustable. So however far these legs spread apart is however far they spread apart. It doesn't stand up very high. So it's about, about like so. About like the length of my hand here. So yeah, it's, um, this, this piece is metal and this little button pushes in. Let me see here. And, um, excuse my books here. That's what I had the tripod standing on, but, um, yeah, this little button pushes in and then you can swivel this around. And I mean, this is just a nice sturdy little tripod. This is detachable. So this is the base and you can use it or not use it. So, I mean, it's, it's detachable. Um, and I pretty much like it. And I like the bottom are rubber grippers, so it's just not going to slip all over the place. And that's pretty cool. Pretty compact, pretty, um, you know, portable. Um, pretty cool. Now this piece, however, this is the, uh, the piece that's holding the actual phone, my smartphone. And I'm hating it because, like I said, it is spring-loaded. And I can't... Uh, Oops, <laughs> I can't do this one-handed, but yeah, it's spring-loaded, and I hate that. Um, I just hate it. And the other thing about this is that this isn't wide enough, like I said, to fit my phone with its phone case on my phone. So it'll fit in my phone without the phone case, but then it renders my phone unprotected, and that's how I dropped my phone the last time and broke it. Kaka. Um, so it has a screw on the back here where you can uh, attach this to the actual tripod and then, you know, get a portrait picture. And this one would be for landscape pictures. So yeah, I'm just not, I'm not very happy with it that it's spring loaded. I do or that it, it doesn't really exactly fit my phone right through here. But I do like that this is rubber. These are rubber grippers. And this is a little foam sticker here. So, I mean, it, it offers some protection for your own phone. So, yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate that I'm not very happy with this thing. And so, I will be returning it. Um... And like I said, in my own opinion, I mean, if I had an adolescent or a preteen, you know, or maybe even, um, maybe even a teenager who's 13, 14, 15, and they were maybe into photography with their own, um, setup that I would, I would totally buy this for them. You know, I think this is, this is a good start out little kit and, um, something that, you know, somebody somebody like that could be able to take care of and have for a little while to, you know, to just, um, do for a hobby, you know. So anyway, um, and remember my opinions are only opinions and I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm not a patron saint. Whatever I say isn't written in stone. So please just take me at that. I'm just an opinionated person. Anyway, um, I love you. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.